this show with a lot of laughter because <laughs> here on Friends and Neighbors, Sandra and I always want to make you happy. We want to encourage you, do we yeah. not? Yes. Uh, with great guests, the words of God, the Spirit of God, and we just hope to pass on something from Jesus yeah. that's going to lift you up today. Maybe you're going through a hard time, mm -hmm. and you know what? We've got a guest here who's been through a few hard times, Sarah Broughton. Annie Broughton. <laughs> A Annie. Annie. She's Sarah's got a the show. show. Yes. Oh, show. Don't call her Sarah. Her name is Annie. Well, now, but, <laughs> but there's people, a reason. People do that, though. They <laughs> call me Sarah. So. There's a reason, Sarah. Annie. You call Annie. me Sarah. So you call me Sarah. Tell me about that. Tell me about it. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> and Greg's going to kill it. <laughs> He can do this all over. He's going to kill it. Yeah, we need to we will, yeah. <laughs> No, they're saying it's good. Maybe we'll uh, yeah. People laughing more. Now, Annie, t no, mm -hmm. seriously, let's get back. Sure. Okay, okay. We're going to get serious now. <laughs> okay. Tell me about yourself, because I know I've heard you're an anointed woman. Praise God. I, I've heard you do TV shows, uh, maybe do a little word here and there. I'd so tell me about your television shows. N it's Nightlight, right? And Nightline. Nightline. So Nightline. Okay. Yeah, tell yeah. me about that. <laughs> <laughs> I will get it right. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm happy to be here today to be with you and, and to be with Sandra. And I'm excited. I'm excited to be here with today. And to God be all the glory, and thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> my name is Annie T. Broughton, and I do host a show. Uh, it's called Just Call Me Sarah, and the reason why I named it that is because a few years ago, I used to work at the hospital, and I passed the church. I was in the military. I took care of my mother uh, when she was alive, my children when they was growing up, and one of my parishioners, um, told me one day, she said, you know what, you are Greenville's best kept secret. Mm. So what she did, she called the Greenville News. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, you have got to do a write-up about my pastor, you got to. So they called me on the phone one day while I was working and they asked me to tell them some things about myself. They called me before they actually came out and took my picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so when I shared all the things I was doing, he said, you would think someone a lot younger than you. <laughs> no. <laughs> would be doing all the things that you do. Is that like a yeah. backhanded compliment? <laughs> yeah. I, I learned that in the South, yes. that they do that. They give you a compliment, and then later you're like, oh, ouch, I think that hurt. <laughs> yeah. But actually, yeah. you know, I didn't take it that way because good. the Holy Spirit moved oh, that good. same day, that same minute, that same second. He said, and I, I told him on the phone, I said, well, just call me Sarah. Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I know he's like, that. God would just open that door yep. that quick for, to launch Oof. me out into this ministry of having conferences, TV ministries, different things like that, yeah. just from one word that mm. he asked me. Wow. So I didn't take it as an insult, but it could have been. But you know, yeah. what? But you know what? God works all things. Thanks. Yeah. Good for those who love them. Yeah. Yes. But you know what? It goes back to my scripture and your scripture, yeah. Jeremiah 29 and 11, mm -hmm. and to that that God works all things. He you does. know, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are, and are called, called according to His, to his, his purpose. purpose. Yeah. Yes. And exactly. You had a purpose. You had a purpose, yes. and you didn't even know you had that purpose. I know. You never knew, did you? <laughs> I didn't. Any that you would have TV shows mm -hmm. and do all the things. You, like, sitting right here. You know, it's God <laughs> works in miraculous ways. Mm -hmm. it, his wonders 
to perform, I right. think. Right. And you're one of them. Annie. Thank you. So Thank tell, you. tell me what uh, your show about Sarah is. Uh, just call my name is Sarah. What is that about? <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I want to encourage. Okay, can I read the verse? You can. It's Hebrews 11 and 11. And it says, And by faith even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful. Ooh. We had promise. Oh, <laughs> yes. His promises are yes and amen. Yes. Yes. And so what, I, what my heart is to do is to let people, women, I, I won't say especially women, but all people know that you're never too old. Mm, I love that. <laughs> oh, to do yeah. what God Himself, what the Holy Spirit has put in your heart to do. Absolutely. You're never too old. You're not past age. You know, God keeps his promises no matter what, how old you are. And you are so <laughs> correct because this is so timely for a yes. time such as this because yes. people are feeling that, you know, through all of the things that we have gone through with, yes. uh, our, with the pandemic and with trying to get back, those voices that get in your head that yes. say, you know what? You should have, could have, would have, yeah. you know, and you didn't yeah. do it because yeah. you should have, could have. Yeah. Um, or um, it's past my time. I had that before. Right. I don't have it now. But God's word yes. says differently, mm -hmm. right? I yeah. love that you cited Hebrews. I love Hebrews. Yes. It's my Hebrews 11, one, to have faith is to be sure of the things we yes. hope for yes. and be certain of the things that we cannot see. Yes. So that's when you... Then put on your bootstraps yes. and you're walking on and just be obedient to see what God will do with you and through you. Yes. So that's powerful. But you know, it's the favor of God too mm -hmm. on your life. Thank you. And Thank you. I believe, you know, we're to pray for favor with God and with man. Yes. And I, 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 even in my <laughs> own life and Sandra's life, I see the favor of God yes. and who would not want the favor of God. Yes. Now, you wanted to talk a little bit about that, about the favor about of the God. the favor of God. So tell me what it is to you, Miss Annie. Well, when I think back with this verse again, Sarah, again, she was past age, mm. but she judged God faithful mm. because he promised her. When God makes you a promise, he's going to bring it to pass. And if you wait on him, and trust him, you're going to see the favor, the blessings of the Lord unfold in your life. You're going to see the things that you have been praying for and believing God for. Mm. Amen. By his Holy Spirit, he's going to do everything he promised that he would do. And so when Sarah did not give up, she said, you know what? I'm going to trust God. Mm. I'm going to believe. God. And God, get, to me, favor is when God steps in and do a supernatural mm. <laughs> blessing. Yes. <laughs> something that you can't do on your own, something that you can't get by yourself. Mm. Yes, yeah, just like you said a few minutes, by me being here today, being with you two ladies, that's the favor of God. Amen. <laughs> and when you're in close relationship, when you're in close relationship with the Lord, it's, you know, people say when you're waiting upon the Lord, that's what's so hard mm -hmm. because you don't want to go ahead of him because as women or anyone who's like ready to go, you're like, you're like <laughs> okay, I see it. Yeah. I see it. So this is what I need to do. And you've already solved the problem because right. you know, but God is exercising your faith yes. when what? you are taking the time to wait. Oh, on yeah. him, what right? does the Bible says? He said, those that wait upon, upon the Lord, the Lord. Mm -hmm. and we don't like to wait in, the, in this society. <laughs> well, yeah. Everything that instant like gratification. That. Yeah, instant. And I know with my grandchildren and, and my grown children, it's like, I want it now. But I then want you don't want to miss out. Yeah. Yes. Like, have I waited too long? Did yeah. I miss the boat? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, but that's yeah. when you need to be plugged yeah. in yeah. with the Word of God because mm -hmm. when you're not, you do miss well, the boat. But it right. also, yeah. don't you think, Annie, it's patience? In your patience, possess you your soul. Mm -hmm. You have to have that patience, which is a fruit of the Spirit, right. to have to wait. Yes. Because waiting is not good. 
And, and I know that, and I'm preaching to myself because I'm not a good waiter. <laughs> and I just heard you say the fruit of the Spirit, and I'm like, dear Jesus, forgive me for falling short of the fruit of the Spirit. I know. Yeah. But I think uh, Miss Annie's probably got all nine segments of the fruit of the Spirit. Because <laughs> I can just tell by your demeanor, yeah. the way you Thanks are, God. that the love of God rests mightily, ooh, Thank hallelujah, you. On, you. on you. Praise Thank God. I feel the Spirit that. of God in that. Jesus. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, I want to ask you one thing, too. Yes. Well, it's why is Jeremiah 29, 11 and Isaiah 41, 10 especially good for you? It is your two scriptures. I love Jeremiah 29 and 11 because it's still kind of, it's with Hebrews 11 and 11. Mm -hmm. God knew the plans that he had for Sarah. Mm -hmm. He knows the plans he has for me and for you, for everybody. Amen. He said, and the plans I have for you are to prosper you, mm -hmm. <laughs> not to harm you, Yes. to give you hope, mm -hmm. a future. Yes. In a state to the end. Mm. He knows what he's doing. Mm. And that's where that waiting comes in. Amen. That God, I know you got me. I have a picture uh, above my television set at home, and it's a shepherd, but he's holding a lamb in mm. his arms. And any time something happens in my life that bothers me or upsets me, I just look up at that picture of that shepherd holding that sheep. Ooh. And I said, thank you, Father, for you know the plans. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. You, have to, Amen. you have to remind yourself yeah. because the enemy is there to seek yes. and destroy oh, you yes. like a roaring lion. Yes. But when you repeat that over you, we just had a guest pr uh, previously talk yeah. about his entire childhood where his parents were not there and kept wow. kept speaking negative words over him. My goodness. So, you know, the Word of God does not do that. The Word of God is there to prosper you, to yes. build you up. So when you, you up. when you, when you repeat those words and yes. pray those blessings over you, yes. that's when the anointing falls. But, and that's where the fever falls, don't you yes. think? Yes. But he also said his word won't come back void. Mm. Right. He, he said, my promises are yes and amen. Yes. We can count on that. Can we not, Annie? We can. We can. I, at, through every situation. Have you <laughs> been in some real hard times where you saw more than just the favor of what God's done with your uh, TV shows and things, but where God showed favor to you? Yes. In 2018, I, I went through a very difficult time in my life. Mm. Um, I was, in fact, I was sitting at home getting ready to um, teach Bible study at my church. At, I was getting ready to host Nightline. I was d getting ready to do a lot of different things and all of a sudden, my stomach started hurting. Just like out of the blue. Yeah. So it became so excruciating, the pain did, that I had to go to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. Well, they did a little scan on me. They said that, um, yeah, we see a couple of gallstones. Go home. We'll call you. They sent me, you know. And so I said, okay. Um, a surgeon called me the next day and said, well, we want to meet with you. Okay, went to the doctor's office. They did another scan. You had to only see a couple of gallstones. You'll be in outpatient surgery for a couple of hours. Go home after that. I woke up inside the hospital. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. I was there for a week. Wow. I've had three surgeries from that one episode of pain. In a couple of months, I had to undergo three different surgeries. What? There was over 200 gallstones. Oh, my goodness. 200? Oh, my gosh. My whole gallbladder was gangrene. Oh, Annie. <laughs> from the bowel duct down to the ureta. Mm -hmm. ureta. Yeah. And... I was poisoned all on the inside. My goodness. Well, my heavens. My surgery went from an hour in surgery and then going home 
till I was in surgery. I think they told my husband about seven hours. Seven hours? The surgeon, the surgeon had to call in another surgeon to help him. He, they said my gallbladder was just tore up, flabby, just mm. mush from all the gangrene. You could have gotten blood poisoning. Yes. And all of that, Annie, my They told husband. my family she, it was by the grace of God mm. that I could have died. Yes. If, if I had not. You see how good God is? Yes. 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 Even in pain, mm. those pains sometimes are for a reason. Yes. Sometimes a pain is to help you, yes. but you know something is not right. Redirect yes. you, to redirect you. <laughs> yes. yes. Even in a relationship, sometimes those pains let you know something is not, not right. right. Yeah. God yeah. allows <laughs> things to happen, right? To right. get your attention. Right. So then he can redirect you to his purpose. Exactly. Well, I always thought that, I always see it like when I'm going through a really hard time, I'm in the valley. Yes. You always learn more in the valley. Yes. And you're always closer to to the Lord in the valley. Yes. You, you draw upon the word more when you're in the valley. Because when we get on the mountaintop, we get a little lazy. Yeah. You get you know, a little happy and, and you're like, yeah. 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 Oh, you boy, forget that's God. Over with, so now, <laughs> ooh, ooh, let's have fun. You know, and you, you get, get a little lazy. And you don't pray as much. You, you, you get where you don't read as much. You yes. don't feel like yes. you need yes. the Lord as, you, as, as much. Mm. But you had to have the Lord. Yes. You had to have. Did everybody come and pray, anoint you with oil and pray over you? And were you in the hospital a long time? I was in the a hospital week? for a week. week. Yeah, for a week. And some people did come and pray. Uh, my pastor came and prayed and different ones, some of the deacon boards came and prayed. So I did have a, a core group of people to come and pray. But that's where the Isaiah 41 and 10 comes mm. in. Yes, <laughs> yes. Tell us about it. Yes. Yeah, go on Where's with this? it. Yeah. Fear not. For yeah. I am with Ooh. you. For I am with you. Amen. <laughs> Be not dismayed. Amen. For I am your Ooh, God. That's a good word. I will strengthen you. Yes. Oh, my God. I will help you. I will uphold you. Oof. With my oh, victorious right hand. Right. <laughs> Ooh, right. Girl, you can be <laughs> that. <laughs> For I am That's the winning God. words right Lord, there. Glory to God. Yes, thank you, Lord God. You're absolutely right. Ooh, that is some winning, it's winning words. It's something you got to pray. And you've got, got to, pray to pray the scriptures back. Yes. And you know, somebody told me this a, a while ago. You pray the scriptures back, not because God needs to hear yes. his yes. word, yes. but because you. he needs to hear you yes. praise yes. him through his mm -hmm. word, through yeah. prayer. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, he said, he said, remind me of my words. Yes. yes. You know, and he also said, and a lot of people don't know this. He said, according to my words, command ye me. How can I command God? I still don't know. Somebody yes. out there, you know, let me know. So, but when we get back, Annie, I want you to talk to me about that. If you know anything about, according by words, command ye me okay. up to the Lord. So we got to take a break. We do. <laughs> so we're going to come back more with Miss Annie, and she's going to tell us a little bit more. Ahead, we're going to laugh, too. Have a good break. <laughs> You know what, during the breaks, we always have such a good time mm -hmm. and we learn a little bit more about our guests during the break. Mm -hmm. And we were talking to uh, Annie uh, about different things and I want you to pick up where we left off on that. Well, one thing I want um, your audience to know tonight is that God watches over his word to perform to it. To perform it, amen. Yes. So that's why it's imperative that when we pray, we pray the word. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. We can't pray. I mean, people do pray their tears. They do. They pray their heartaches and pain. But the bottom line, pray the word. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to see results, if you really want the Holy Spirit to move in your life, mm. Then, like you said, you have to remind the Lord, what, he, what did you tell me, God? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really a, your yeah. own reminder. I right? know, I know. 
I know. Yeah. And, you know, you can just hear the Holy Spirit talk to you. Can I, okay, how, can I share something with yeah, you? Go. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Yes. I had to host Nightline yesterday, and on the way out there, uh, the, the Holy Spirit was talking to me, and he said, you know what? He said, you're a great wife. <laughs> he said, you're a great mother, you know? And he said, and you, you take care of your husband before you do anything, right? And so I said, well, thank you, Holy Spirit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're like, yes, I know. Get out of my side. <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling my husband on the way out there what the Holy Spirit had said. Yeah. He said he told me the same thing about you. Oh, oh, the Holy Spirit yeah. was talking to him yeah. while he was talking to me that oh. I was a great wife. Oh, omnipresent. You know, yes. so the yeah. Word of God said it. Um, your children shall rise up and call you mm. blessed, and your husband shall praise thank you. you. You know? Yeah. And I said, wow, thank yeah. you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know? And he was right there uh, for me when I was sick, when I was in the hospital, uh, during my time of recovery from yeah. that, because I had to come home with um, uh, a, well, some kind of tube in my stomach, and, everything, mm -hmm. and it had to be changed out. He would change it out for me. How oh, marvelous. And I said, this don't bother you to do that? He's <laughs> like, because I love you. I know. Yes, but you know what that is to me, Annie? Mm. That's Jesus in action. That is. Yes. Yeah. That's Jesus with hands mm -hmm. and feet. That's Jesus' love. Right. Right there. And, you know, I was just thinking about you saying he was, you were thinking what you are thinking about your way, and he was think, thinking about saying a secular couple People that don't know Jesus will never get that. What oh, or, or somebody would say, oh, that's a coincidence. coincidence. Yeah. That, a coincidence, oh, just, but God is not yeah, a no, God of coincidence. No, yeah. that was straight down from glory. <laughs> that was a kiss, kiss on the cheek mm -hmm. to you and to your husband. Right. That was another spark of faith that you'll remember till the day you die. And him, him too. That's a memory. To, from Jesus. Yeah. I mean, I love you that. know what? Are we blessed or what? We are. <laughs> because we I, are. Be I believe that you can't do anything. There's no way a person can show out unless they show in first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, to their yes. family. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, Annie, what would you say to someone who has absolutely no clue what we're talking about? Like, they're like, well, what are you saying? Like, I, I'm a Christian. Let's say I'm a Christian. Yeah. I follow, I read the word, and I have been told that I'm giving the, given the Holy Spirit. Yeah. How do I tap into that? Like, if somebody's thinking that, what would you say? There's a story in the Bible. <clears throat> I think it's in the book of John. <clears throat> Excuse me, where it talks about the woman at the well, mm. woman of Samaria. Mm. Jesus said, I have need <laughs> mm -hmm. to go to Samaria. There's someone there that needs me. There's someone that's viewing in tonight that they have gone through a lot. They may be a Christian, they may be reading the Word of God, but still there's an emptiness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the inside of them. But the Holy Spirit is coming to where they are right now to meet them. Yeah. Right where they are. Yes. Right at the point of their need. Mm -hmm. And when he comes, that same person who is unsure right now, she's going to run to the city mm -hmm. and say, come see a man. That's right. <laughs> That's right. God needs yes. you right yes. where you need mm -hmm. We can't do it uh, for anyone, but I know a man that can. Yes. I know a man that can. He <laughs> yeah. walked on the water. That's Hallelujah. Right. Yes. He healed the sick and raised the dead. I know yes. a man that <laughs> loves me just like I am with all my faults. Mm -hmm. All my faults. And he, with all, all the things that I wish I could do differently, he still loves me. I'm his child. Yes. And that, I think that's what all three of us mm -hmm. here want to project out to there mm -hmm. is how much God loves us and that yes. God definitely has a plan for you. Yes. He has a plan for all of us. Yes. But we got about a minute left. And tell me if somebody wanted for you to come and talk to them, speak at maybe a women's retreat, mm -hmm. can they get in touch with you? Yes, they can get in contact with me through my email. It's A. Broughton, my first initial, my last name, Spell A. Broughton, B-R-A, first initial, A, 
last name Broughton, B-R-O-U-G-H-T-O-N. Okay. 52 at hotmail.com. Mm, okay. Or they can call the, uh, the TV station, WGGS 244-1616, was 864-244-1616. Okay. Or they can just well, call me directly. Well, I want to say one thing. If you want a spirit-filled lady that's happy, <laughs> yes. joyous, and just exuberates God's love, and the goodness of Thank him, you. Mm -hmm. call Miss Annie. <laughs> That's right. And we're going to take a break. Thank you, Annie, for Thank being you. with us. Thank I you. Love God you. bless you. Thank I love you. <laughs> God bless you. I can't. You know what? I get so tickled at her. She is the sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we have a good time here? We do. On have a good friends time. and neighbors. Yes. yes. But you know what? It all boils down to this, Sandra. We want everyone out there to know that Jesus Christ yes. loves you, that He does have a purpose for you. And if you'll just open your Bible to Jeremiah 29 and 11, read it, get it in your heart. Know it because it's the truth. God does have a plan for your life. I don't care what you're going through. I don't know, care where you are. You just pray the sinner's prayer. If you're not a Christian, God will come into your heart. Just say, Lord, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you the Lord of my life, and you will be amazed. So we thank you, don't we, yes. for being with us, and we pray <laughs> God's blessings on you, and we will see you, Sandra and I, next time. Next time. Here on Friends and Neighbors. God Bye. bless. See you later. <laughs>